Hey people, it's Nes Gladys here today and welcome back to Nes to Follow. If you're new here, please do not forget to hit on that subscribe button for more videos on health, NCLEX tips and healthy living. So today we are diving into a topic that affects many of us, okay? Many of us. Stress and weight gain. Stress and weight gain. Have you ever wondered why you may um, gain a few extra pounds whenever you're stressed out? I dare you to stick around and you'll find out. We all know what stress feels like, right? Yep. But what actually happens? in our bodies when we are stressed out cortisol now cortisol is a hormone that is secreted by our body when we are faced with a stressful situation cortisol helps our body prepare for a stressful situation by providing adequate amount of energy so it's like your body's alarm system think of it like your body's alarm system it prepares your body by providing an adequate amount of energy. So it's like your body's way of saying, hey, we need energy and we need it right now. Yep. So how does cortisol get to affect our weight when we are stressed out? Cortisol increases appetite. As sad as it may sound, cortisol increases appetite. Have you ever wondered why you get to crave, you know, sugary things, some fatty things when you're stressed out? That is cortisol talking, buddy. That is cortisol talking. <laughs> Increases appetite and it makes you crave for all these sugary and fatty foods that are going to add some inches to your waist. Cortisol also tells your body to store fat. Yep, especially around the belly area. <laughs> it tells your body to store fat. So not only are you eating too much, but you're also storing fat. Isn't cortisol a bastard? <laughs> so cortisol, eat as much as you all need it. It is good, but what it does when you're stressed out, you cannot imagine. Yeah, and when you're also stressed out, there's what we call emotional eating okay you start to eat um uncontrollably and this you know turns out to add more calories to to your day you know so stress can actually cause a lot but the good news is you can break this cycle you can actually break the cycle how first you must identify healthier ways of coping with stress you must identify healthier ways of coping with stress like exercise you know exercising regularly you know me i'm an advocate for exercise not only does it keep you fit it also controls your emotions it relieves stress also you can seek professional help if you can control it especially if you get to the point of depression you can consult and seek for professional help. There are medications you can be put on to help control your mood. Okay? And you have to be mindful of what you eat. If you start having these cravings, ask yourself, am I really hungry? Or is it just cortisol talking? Am I really hungry? Do I really need this bowl of ice cream? Do I really need this, <laughs> this bowl of chocolate or this bowl of chocolate ice cream? Do I really need cake? Do I really need burgers? Do I really need um, pizza? Shower my name it. Do I really need it? Or it is, is it just uh, cortisol talking? I know it may get so challenging sometimes, but trust me, you can do it. And there you have it, folks. You know what cortisol is. You know the harm it can cause when you're stressed out. 
you know how you can manage your stress, regular exercise, talking to someone, seeking professional help, and, you know, controlling what you eat. You can do it. Okay, people, please, if you find this video interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, loved ones. You never can tell whom this video will help. Until next time, stay caring, stay healthy, and control your stress and appetite. <laughs> okay, people, see you in my next video. Ciao.